Hello my dear pharmacist friends uh, welcome to this new pharmacy mcqs video uh, it is again uh, going to be a set of 10 mcqs and uh, we will try to discuss them and uh, also solve them so please stay with me for the whole duration of this video thank you friends so our first mcq of this video all of the following are side effects of cisplatin except one so these side effects are given myelosuppression, autotoxicity, nephrotoxicity, hepatotoxicity and vomiting. So friends if you know about the side effects of this drug then you will know that uh, this hepatotoxicity is not the side effect of cisplatin. So D is our correct option here. Now our next MCQ, the following agent or agents can be used in the treatment of lysis in humans. Uh, lysis, uh, it's called Jua in Urdu. Jua, which we call in Urdu. Mein. So options are given Ivermectin, Melatione, Spinosad, Linden, all of the above. Actually in the treatment of lysis, all these uh, medicines can be used ivermectin melathion spinosad and linden so all of the above is the correct option here our next mcq sodium dehydrocholate is used in medicinal formulations as antacid anti-flatulent nauseant digestive aid and relaxant uh, so this compound sodium dehydrocholate is used in medicinal formulations this drug functions as digestive aid it actually helps uh, in the digestive process so this compound has this function of digestion aid now our next mcq what is metopine Appetite stimulant, sleep aid, atropine derivative, smoking quit aid, appetite suppressant. Actually, metopine is used in medicinal formulations that are available in the market uh, for appetite stimulation purposes. So, this compound metopine functions as appetite stimulant. So, A is our correct option here. Now our next MCQ, major side effect associated with the use of donorubicin and doxorubicin is myocardial toxicity, hepatic toxicity, renal toxicity, CNS toxicity or pulmonary toxicity. Actually these agents uh, doxorubicin and donorubicin, they have a major side effect and that is myocardial toxicity. Which of the following class of drugs have the highest potential for abuse and thus are strictly controlled in most jurisdictions? So all these options are Schedule 1 drugs, Schedule 2, 3, 4 and 5. So all these schedules are there and actually they classify the drugs based on their potential for abuse. And actually it is this Schedule 1 drugs that contains all the drugs that have the potential for abuse so these drugs are strictly controlled and uh, as the schedule moves further the control loosens so a is our correct option here our next mcq what is bromelain so options are given muscle relaxant option b CNS stimulant, option C, anti nauseant, option D is proteolytic enzyme, and option A is anti colic. Actually, bromelain is used in the medicines that enhance digestive functions. So, its use is as a proteolytic enzyme. 
it will help in the digestion of proteins now our next mcq biliary cirrhosis a disease which is characterized by progressive destruction of bile ducts in the liver can be treated with the drug so options are arso deoxycholic acid zipamide zonisamide etosuximide and pantothenic acid actually among these it is arso deoxycholic acid that can be used for this purpose our next mcq for the treatment of von willebrand disease one of the following agents is indicated uh, von willebrand is a disease of blood clotting it's a blood clotting disorder in which our blood have poor ability in accident situations to clot our blood normally so in this condition uh, one of these agents is indicated options are tinidazole nitazoxanide leucovorin pentamidine and desmopressin so among these desmopressin can be given for the treatment of von willebrand disease so e is correct now the last mcq of this video memantine is indicated in the treatment of parkinson's disease alzheimer's disease amyotrophic lateral sclerosis cystic fibrosis and multiple sclerosis actually memantine is an anti alzheimer's disease drug it is given in this condition in which cognition of the elderly patient is affected adversely and this disease progressively worsens so for this memantin can be indicated friends this was enough for this video i will see you in the next video with new mcqs on pharmacy subjects so thanks for watching best wishes for more such pharmacy mcqs videos please subscribe to our youtube channel